This is Father Stephen Abrado, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com, and I am in Dublin, and this is the Ireland Rally for Life, the March for Life. It's just starting now. I'm just going to stand here and do a little commentary as they go by. This is the very beginning here. This is Parnell Square. I spoke to a bunch of youth last night. It's quite a large event. Of course, it's no place close to the March for Life in the United States, but Ireland is only the size of South Carolina with the same number of people. So this is a pretty dramatic turnout. Everyone has signs. You can see, just as in the United States, they have young people at the front. They're moving them down the street little by little. I'd have to say that the crowd is blocks long. They're using the type of cheers that we hear from Students for Life of America. A lot of young people from all over Ireland. I've met quite a few of these people already. A lot of people coming up to me and uh, thanking me for my ministry, thanking me to, for coming to Ireland. So I don't know if you can see the crowd goes down the street. So somebody tried to get a banner in front of the the front banner. The front banner is Rally for Life. We stand for life. Rally for life. We stand for life. It's a little competing banners here. And people competing to get in the front of the march. I guess that's human nature. I don't know if you can see down the street. You see the Presbyterian Church up there. I spoke there last night, and I'll be speaking there uh, tonight at 445. Let me walk up the street so you can see the crowd. They'll be starting in a few minutes here. But every county has a pro-life group. I saw Sligo for life. I was with Roscommon for life yesterday. The march is starting to move now. So I think uh, quite an impressive crowd for uh, a country that is the size of South Carolina. Imagine if South Carolina had, a, with their 8 million people, had a march for life. How many people would be coming? But I'd have to say there's 10,000 people here, maybe. Maybe more. But anyway, at the end of the march, there'll be a rally. At the end of the march, there'll be a rally. I'm not speaking at the rally. I'm speaking actually in the Presbyterian Church that you see right there. It's called Rally Fest, and it'll be after the main rally at 4.45. I'll be speaking. Excuse me, I just sneezed. Politicians, pro-abort politicians, stop aborting Ireland's future. That's correct. All right. It's, it's the governing body that's killing our children. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? Hey, Hi, Precious, how you doing? Huh? Well, Say hello to everybody. Hello. Uh, where's Our Lady of Guadalupe? You told me Our Lady of Guadalupe. No, uh, somebody's done walking off with it. All right, I'll see you later, okay? I'm videotaping here. I'll catch up with you, Kate, all right? Kate, I'll catch up with you. All right. All right.
So the leaked pro-life, I don't even know what that is. All right, so you can see very similar, very similar to the March for Life in D.C., similar atmosphere, a lot of red, a lot of red. That's kind of like the, the color for life. Quite a few people here. All right, so I'm going to get into the march now. TFP, I think, is here, too. I don't think this is them, but I think they're here. But obviously, we've got a pro-life band here. 31 children have been murdered by the government of Ireland. And as I said last night, this is government sanctioned, government protected through the courts and law enforcement, government funded with Irish tax dollars, daily mass murder of pre-born children. All right, so it's gonna get loud, so I'm gonna shut this off, but this is a, a great event, a great tribute to life, and of course, these people desire the abolition of abortion and uh, I'm going to do in a so small way as best I can to help them. All right, so well, God bless you all. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. And uh, I should live stream later my talk. God bless.